It's estimated that by 2022, 87% of new vehicles will be equipped with telematics. But according to an IHS market survey, nearly three in four consumers are unaware of telematics. So when we talk about telematics, Clay, what kind of data is a vehicle collecting? Well, anybody who owns a newer car probably don't realize how much information is being gathered and sent back to the manufacturer, which is something that is kind of aggravating to me that when you buy a new car, you know, that information should be your information. And the, the information that our cars are gathering these days is incredible. It knows how much you weigh, it knows how much you shop, it knows where you stop, it knows how fast, how slow, how much you use the brakes. So it's pretty incredible the amount of information that's being gathered that we don't even really realize. And where does that data go? Well, I mean, the data is going back to the manufacturers, but one of the biggest concerns is the independent repair shop. You know, those shops that have been there for possibly generations or somebody that's starting a brand new business. They may have a customer come in, bring their car, that's got a warning light going off. Well, in the old days or the way it, is, the way it has been in the past, you know, you hook up the scan tool, you find out the problem. But what's going to happen and what is already happening is some of those codes we can't access at a local shop anymore. The car's got to go back to the dealer or the local shop has got to pay fees to the manufacturer to access those codes. I don't think that's correct. You know, we, we should be able to take our car to anywhere we want to go to have it repaired and not be tied necessarily to the manufacturer. So I think the future, you know, we've got to look at uh, how to fix these things and that's what the initiative Your Car, Your Data is about giving us access to the rights to our own car. That's a really important point because it's been estimated that independent repair facilities perform 70% of out of warranty repairs. I mean, that's right. Bill Hanvey of the Auto Care Association has said that these independent shops are essentially working blindfolded because they don't have access to all the diagnostics. We can have codes go off that doesn't necessarily set off a warning light, but the manufacturers of the car are getting this information. So they are in control of it and the car owner is not. So, I mean, for me, if you generate that code, you should know about it. You should be able to make the decision where your car is going to go. Yep. So this is really about, number one, the consumer's right to have access to the data their vehicle generates, and two, their right to choose who they share that data with, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, a vast majority of the consumers out there, nine out of 10, matter of fact, feel like they should control who has the rights to see their data. And I know this hits home for you because you've been taking your car to the same shop for a number of years, if I'm not mistaken. Absolutely. You know, it's one of those things that you get comfortable with who you take your car to, yep. you know, especially, you know, if you've been going to the same shop for years and years like I have, I want to be able to continue doing that without causing them an interruption in workflow of having to contact the manufacturer to find out what's wrong with the car. Yep. For years and years and years, you know, you take your car there and it's something I can't fix. I love working on cars myself, but sometimes it gets above my skill level. And I like to just take it there. I know they're gonna be able to fix it, but what we're starting to see with the newer cars is they can't access the information to find out what's wrong with it. So your car, your data, your choice, check it out. I mean, that's just all there is to it. So the bottom line is, it doesn't matter if a driver prefers to take their vehicle to an IRF, you know, independent repair facility, or the dealership or wherever, they should be able to choose who gets the telematics data. 100% agree with that. I mean, you bought the car, you're making the payments, or you own the car, so you've created the data. It should be up to you who sees it, who uses it, and where it goes. Mm -hmm. So if a counter pro or service advisor is watching this, maybe their customers have questions about data access and telematics, what should they tell them? Well, I mean, you should definitely tell your customer, check out yourcaryourdata.org. There's a lot of information about what is going on with your car's data. There is a petition on there you can sign. It's really simple. There's a link. This petition is being sent to Congress so that we can fix what's going on with the data that we do not know what's happening with it, what the manufacturers are doing with it. Go check it out, yourcaryourdata.org.